Inside this lab at UNT Health Science Center in Fort Worth, work is being done that could change your life. This study is the first ever. No one's ever done this. We first met Dr. Sid O'Brien in 2017. Um, this is where we, one of the freezers, where we keep the blood samples. When he told us of a brand new study funded by the National Institutes of Health to find out why Mexican Americans appear to be at an increased risk of Alzheimer's. This is my mom and my dad when they were young. Laura and Domingo Castillo told us at the time of their parents' struggles with memory loss. It's, it's the most heartbreaking thing when you see your parents that they're not there no more. It's just their body, but not their mind. But Dr. O'Brien says it's not just Mexican Americans who get Alzheimer's at disproportionate levels. African Americans do too. How much more likely are Mexican Americans and African Americans to get Alzheimer's than other populations? It's one and a half to two times more likely than non Hispanic whites. And not only that, increased risk at potentially 10 years younger. And so today. But today I'm, I'm proud to announce another significant investment into this study. UNT Health Science Center announced it was investing $7 million more to expand its study into the African American community. They're seeking 1,000 African American adults over 50 who will receive free MRIs, blood work, PET scans, and more. What we don't know is why. What's going on? That could also help participants in their own health journeys. Though we always had a feeling that mother was in there somewhere. Tarrant County Commissioner Roy Brooks supports the study, having lost his own mother to Alzheimer's. Yeah, we have to do something about this. Dr. O'Brien hopes this work will help us better diagnose and treat the cruel disease. In Fort Worth, I'm Lauren Zakalik.